approaching then three from the end. The Real Wacker nearly joined by Indigo Breeze. The Real Wacker though still holding sway. Indigo Breeze yet to be fully extended. A bad mistake there back in third by Redders Rust. Otis Dean looking to challenge her for that position. Bardenstown Lad is now beginning to run on a bit. Sean Bone appears confident on Indigo Breeze. Just looking behind but still yet to pass. The Real Wacker who himself is yet to really be extended out in front. So it's the Real Wacker who will lead them towards home two to take. The Real Wacker by two lengths to Indigo Breeze approaching the penultimate fence. They've got right away. Bardenstown Lad is now third. That was two from the end. The Real Wacker under pressure for the first time. And here comes the grey Indigo Breeze. Now to draw on terms over the last. The Real Wacker and Indigo Breeze pretty much together. The Real Wacker finding plenty over on the far side. Indigo Breeze now shaken up to try and win its race. Out in front though the Real Wacker is finding plenty. And the Real Wacker will make a winning chasing debut. The Real Wacker. About four and six lengths down respectively. No problems for the leader out in front. Uh, racing their way now towards the bend for home with two more fences left to take and it's New Bay Negra. It has a decent lead of about four or five lengths over Galapathy in second. Daily Tiger has been seen off now in third, just been shaken along by Adam Wedge. Racing the way back towards home then. New Bay Negra has matters in hand here at the moment. It's clear by five lengths. The Galapathy in second. Here's the penultimate fence. New Bay Negra over in front. A peep round there by Harry Skelton, Galapathy hard at work under Gavin Sheehan. At the last now, Nube Negra sails over it clear. From Galapathy lands in second, Daily Tiger just coming down towards the final fence as Nube Negra barely happened to be shaken up to make a winning seasonal reappearance and will take the 14th running of the Schler chase and wins this race for back-to-back -back runnings. Nube Negra, the third draw winner of this, beating Galapathy in second and Daily Tiger last of the three. Then the under pressure, Eva's Oscar back in fourth. Does he know he's still got a claim towards the outside of Eva's Oscar? They've got right away from Domaine de Lille and they're racing their way back towards home. Two left to take, Indy five with a narrow call from back on the lap, running a screamer. Does he know to the outside, the top weight? Then Fantastic Ass and Eva's Oscar and this quintet are clear. Here's two from the end, Indy five, Laddie just in front. Does he know though, laying down a Serious challenge to the outside, and it's Does He Know is now brought into the lead under David Bass. Does He Know jump big and bold at that final fence? Does He Know went on from back on the lash and Indy 5 and Eva's Oscar? They're racing inside the final furlong. Does He Know is tied in front? Back on the lash is trying to come back with a great Eva's Oscar to the far side. Does He Know is very brave in front of this big weight, and Does He Know has won it? Does He Know has beaten Eva's Oscar? As they went over the penultimate flight of hurdles, Dazlad made a bad mistake further back. I like to move it, and Nina the Terrier, the leading pair. Tracked through by a Harbour Lake, the white sleeves and cap. Jean Coco travelling up very strongly to the outside in the blue. Behind there is Cormier from Sonny Gino, now weakens. That was the final flight of hurdles, and now the long run in. And it's I like to move it, now shaken up in front. Jean Coco travelling powerfully to the outside under Jonathan Burke. They've kicked on then from Nina the Terrier, who's back in third. Then came Cormier, followed by Harbour Lake, and first impression is trying to stay on. They angle around this flight of hurdles. Jim Coco's come off the bridle for the first time, and I like to move it. It's keeping on finding out in front. Inside the final furlong, it's I like to move it. Under Sam Twist and Davis, from Jim Coco in second, who's now got three lengths to find. They've drawn a long way clear, and it's I like to move it. Off top weight to win the great word handicap hurdle. I like to move it, has seen off Jim Coco. Final flight of hurdles. Then across, ridden up to go between horses. Springwell Bay is next, and then Dear Mark is still in contention. That's the final flight of hurdles. She is electric once again, still out in front. You can tango responding well to the urgings, moves up toward the outside of Fenna Cross. Then Springwell Bay, they've kicked away from Iberico Lord. Fascinating shadow and Dear Mardix. You can tango, who's battled through now to lead as they begin this run up the home straight. You can tango heading towards the final furlong with a length and a half lead. Fenner cross up in a second now. Back in third, she is electric, and then came Springwell Bay. They're inside the final furlong. Fenner cross has now got back to you, Contango, and it's Fenner cross who now leads the charge inside the final furlong. Fenner cross under Simon Torrance found a couple of lengths over you, Contango in second, and Fenner cross will go on to win the supreme trial.
Then across has beaten you can tango. Then right behind these cave legend together with Cuthbert Dibble and Kate Vidal. A three lengths away to school days over. He's certainly creeping closer. Then Katati Dori. There's plenty with a chance and they're about to race their way back towards home. Gentle slopes just about the call now. From Jack Hyde and not now net to the inside. Kate Vidal is building up a strong looking effort. Then Cave Legend. School days over is still staying on as gentle slopes and Harry Cobden go for home. Gentle Slopes at a furlong and a half to go has gone four lengths clear from Kate Vidal in second. School day's over, back in third. Then Kate Legend and Jack Hyde and Katati Dory. They're racing inside the final furlong and it's Gentle Slopes who's clear. Gentle Slopes by four lengths over. School day's over. Kate Vidal back in third and heading up towards the line. It's Gentle Slopes will win. Gentle Slopes has beaten School day's over. Kate Vidal in third.